Let's look into the Antarctic Treaty System. Antarctica is governed by the Antarctic Treaty System. And for the purposes of the treaty system, Antarctica is defined as the land, all the land and ice shelves south of 60 degree latitude. So generally, we would consider 66 degree 34, 34 minutes south. But for the purpose of the treaty, they consider everything below 60 degrees south as Antarctica. It was first signed in 1959 by 12 countries. So, Antarctic Treaty System was first signed in 1959 by 12 countries and it entered into force in the year 1961. It was the first arms control agreement established during the Cold War. First arms control agreement. So, you can see by the years 1954 and 61 that the Cold War is ongoing. So, at that time, there was a worry as to whether uh, whether it be USA or whether uh, it would be Soviet Union who would try to come and put up a permanent settlement and permanent base and capture areas of Antarctica. So, they came, they, they brought out this agreement or treaty based on which they decided that Antarctica will be a completely military free zone. Let's look, get back to this. There are 56 signatories to the Antarctic Treaty as of 2023. And this treaty regulates international relations with respect to Antarctica and designates the continent as a scientific preserve. So what are they saying? This, this is not an area to be captured and fought over. We have to maintain Antarctica purely as a scientific preserve. Antarctica can only be used for peaceful purposes and any exploitation of the continent for purposes such as mining is forbidden. Any military activity is also banned. That is very, very important. So what are we trying to say? Scientific research is the only activity that may be performed in on Antarctica and all the scientific observations must be shared. So you can understand if, that if all the scientific observations have to be shared by the countries, then there wouldn't be much hostility in the area because the findings of one would ultimately benefit the other two. Seven of the signatories laid claims on Antarctica with the intention of expanding research in those territories in the future. So, though it was not the original intention, many signatories did try to claim that this particular area belongs to me. But uh, did that have any sort of impact? Not so much. However, Research facilities have also been established by countries in the claimed area of other countries. So, though these countries had claimed some area, it does not have any impact because other countries can also set them up, set up their bases in other claimed areas. So, I have included this deliberately because in case if you get in your exam whether some area, some area has been claimed by some countries, uh, you know, on the face it appears as if that has not happened. but it has happened, though it doesn't have any sort of impact. That's it.